What is going on guys, it's your boy Death Gun with another Monster Hunter World video. Today we're going to be looking at how to passively farm tons of points. There's been a lot of questions you guys have been asking me of how I have so much money and so many points. There's a lot of reasons for this. The main one is the fact that I run tons of Elder Dragons, I sell their parts, but there's also another method that I like to do when I'm not specifically on the controller. Now, what I mean by that is there's times when I'm watching a movie, I might be watching some Netflix, I might be listening to music or even editing some videos. While I do this, I like to farm for points. The way I do this is I go to my investigations and I look for a quest that has upsurge on certain items. You're going to want to get the items that give you points once you pick them up. So these are not going to be items you use to craft or anything like that. Now, we're going to be using the upsurge on ancient fossils in the Rotten Vale. I have a video on this on how to speed farm ancient fossils, so I highly advise you check it out. On top of that, I like this spot because the route we're going to be running does not have any monsters in it. You might occasionally run into a Rodabon, but he will not target you. Now, with that being said, we're here in the Rotten Vale, Central Camp 11. This is one of my favorite spots, and I'm sure you've seen it in a lot of my videos. Now, I'm going to show you the best route to speed farm ancient fossils. There's going to be about 3 spawn points, each one yielding anywhere from 75 points up to 350. You can get anywhere in between, sometimes if you're extremely lucky you can get even more. Now, it's really close by, I'm going to be speeding it up until we get to each one of the spawn points. Here is the first one and it's really quick, really close to the base camp. Overall you'll be able to do this really, really fast. If you pay close attention, regular ancient fossils give you about 15. And the rarest fossil being the mythical fossil can give you 200 points. So overall the fact that you have upsurge on ancient fossils, the fact that you have the speed route which you're seeing right here, and on top of that the build, the armor build I'm wearing is probably, no not probably, it's without a shadow of a doubt the best farming build in the game and you can build it pretty early on. Right as soon as you finish the game or kill Nergigante, you'll be able to make this set and it will help you get everything you need to craft any other weapon or armor right after that. Now, this combination will yield you tons of points. It really depends how religiously you farm these, you know, ancient fossils or whatever resource you're going to use to get your points. The thing is, or the main thing that you want to do is you want to make sure you know the speed route and around how much it takes for these fossils to spawn back. Once you've actually cleared every single one on this route, it will take about a minute and a half to three minutes to spawn back. You can either wait up here, as I usually do, make sure you're a little far away. If you stay right next to it, it will not spawn. So make sure you're a little far away and you'll be able to see when it spawns. With that being said, once you've actually finished picking everything along your path, you can either go all the way back, as I told you, you'll need to wait about a minute and a half to three minutes, or you can simply fly back to base, wait about a minute, and run back. Alright guys, that's pretty much it and as you can see I made 1895 points. This was done in about 12 to 15 minutes as I was watching some YouTube videos. With that being said, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I just wanted to share some stuff with you so you can do on your off time if you really enjoy Monster Hunter and you want to get more points or generally more materials. One last thing I want to point out. The Kirin quest which gives you upsurge on pearl oysters is amazing. As we know, Kirin is one of the best ways to farm tempered elder tracks. So if you can get tons of Kirin tracks, you'll be able to get tons of oysters, tons of points, and overall it will pay itself out. 
Now, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, and hit that notifications bell so you can stay up to date with every video I post. For now, once again, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and your boy Death Gun, out.